We're here in your studio in Bushwick and uh, looking at some new pieces. You've been working a lot with um, leather, which is new for you. Mm -hmm. In addition to combining with some materials you've used before, like uh, concrete and these chains. So I was curious, um, you know, where, where the leather come from and how you've been working with that material and how you've kind of added it to this vocabulary of things you work with. I was trying to find a way to add a softer element to the work, but without making it soft. So I started playing with casting the leather and the concrete because I was curious how the materials would work together. The leather is formed from getting it wet and then having it dry in the position you want it in. So, you know, it starts out just as a hide. And then when you cast it, it takes the form of the concrete. And then when it dries, it shrinks. So you can see the shrinkage from where it was cast to like the final result. That's how all these marks happen and it wraps around. Because I've all, I also put weights on it while it's drying. So the, there's a real push into the leather. And like this is the area that it shrinks. Like so when it's in, when it was just out of the mold, the leather came all the way up to this line. But then it, when it shrinks after like four or five days of drying, it moves about that much. And these marks stay pretty much the same, but that's how that's happening. And then I've been playing with it in different ways. Um, like with that one, there was a chain laid below it and you can see the outline of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was curious what this piece is because it, it looks quite a bit like the work you make, but uh, I gather it's something that you sort of, it's essentially a ready-made that you haven't done much to yet, but you right. found on the, on the street. I did find it on the street. <laughs> um, I saw it last December, mm -hmm. uh, walking to a friend's house in my neighborhood, and I thought, oh my god, I have to take that, because I, I for a while, a couple years ago, had really been researching these glass lights that, there are a lot of them in Soho, they're in old sidewalks, and they were a way to put light in the basement, but they're also just beautiful. I think it's gonna resemble a waiting room, but with okay. a slightly unclear sense of what you're waiting for. Okay. So it's gonna be set up with the configuration of chairs so that none of the chairs are facing each other, but they're all attached. So it'll be kind of like a central sculpture and then some works on the wall and like an exit. I'm gonna make the storage room look like uh, where you go, what you're waiting to go into. I like the idea that the actual show will be a place where those kinds of interactions would happen. It, meaning that people who come to see the show could actually sit and sort of yeah. and wait for whatever. And talk to for. each other or like overhear things or have and also have like an interaction with the work on the wall. 